Hello again, everyone. It's Ali Diecast, and I finally have some new cars to talk about. If you've been following, you know it's been a huge drought of H and G case cars for 2014 here in sunny California. Not only do we not have any water, but we don't have any Hot Wheels. But we went out uh, this last weekend determined to find something new. And we did find a bad to the blade. Yeah, I know it's not new. It's a Q case car from last year, but it's treasure hunt. And so I picked one up. I only had one other one. So I picked this one up. We'll give this guy away in a, uh, in a contest sometime in the near future, but on to the H case car, or sorry, these are G case cars, G case, G comes before H. So, the G case cars, we got a Fiat 500. I could not find this one anywhere up until recently. Uh, so I picked one of those little guys up. Pretty cool little car. We got the TV series Batmobile with the pinstriping. Another one, could not find it anywhere. Uh, so we picked that guy up. We got the uh, Screamliner. I think I might have shown this one in another video. I think this is the, the second or third one of these I've picked up. I just really like that car. Larry Wood design. Other guys have covered this car on their podcast, so you probably already know everything about it, but it is a very neat car. Uh, Altered Ego. I do like the fantasy cars. You guys know that, so I do pick them up. Altered Ego is a weird-looking car. It looks like it's broken. Andrew was pretty sure this one was broken when he looked at it, but that's the way it's supposed to look. We got the Lotus Evora GT4. I might have shown this one in an earlier video as well. I really like this car. Cool looking car. And we got a treasure hunt. Rescue Duty, the only one I've been able to find, actually. Usually I can find a few treasure hunts. That's why we give them away in the, in the contest. I'm not really a treasure hunt guy. I... I kind of collect cars that I just like, and I like a lot of them. So I'm not really out there looking just for the treasure hunts or the supers. But when I find them, I always pick one up. And I finally found one of these. So got myself a bright green rescue duty. All right, next up, we've got some H-Case cars. We got the Camaro ZL1 Concept. Another cool Camaro. Camaros always look good. It's got some strange uh, tampas on it. They're all they're very asymmetrical, so they're kind of all over the place with the tampas on this one. We got the Mini Cooper, Morris Mini, I guess I should call it, not Mini Cooper, Morris Mini. I don't know too much about my Minis, so I can't tell you too much about that car, except that it was hard to find for a while. We found a ton of them. I didn't pick very many up. I picked up one up for Andrew for Easter. I picked one up for me, and I picked one up for my good friend Moods because I know he's going to want one. So uh, next up, we got uh, Time Tracker, this one with the glow-in-the-dark wheels. I had the other version. I still have a soft spot for the wheel variations. I've tried getting away from collecting the variations, but I always seem to go back to getting the variations. So this one has the glow-in-the-dark wheels. It's been covered in some other some other uh, shows here on YouTube. The Quick and Sick. One thing I'll point out about the Quick and Sick in this next one, the Baja truck, uh, they have the uh, characters from the Hot Wheels show that I know is on Netflix. I don't know if it's a... Um, TV show or not, I don't know if Netflix is carrying from the TV. I, I was surprised that uh, some of the other guys on their show didn't know who these guys are. And I will get their name. I'll do a little video on them uh, just so you know who they are. There's four of them. They're kids. They build Hot Wheels and then magic stuff happens and their Hot Wheels turn into really cool cars. Anyways, if you haven't watched the show, it is a very cool show. I will do a quick little video on it though here in the future. Um, Volkswagen Cool Combi, we found it in blue, another one that's kind of hard to find out there. Um, picked a few of those up for customs. The combis I usually pick up for the, for the customs that I do. We got a fig, fig rig. 
And we all know that the fig rig can hold a, here it is, if I find it, can hold your Lego characters or other characters like Lego characters. And that's why it has the Hot Wheels logo with little blocks flying out of it. Pretty cool, huh? We got a twin mill, not the super. I did look for the supers. This Somebody had already snagged all the supers, but they left me a twin mill. That was very nice of them. I think we ended up with about three of these because Andrew loves this car. So uh, We got the USS Vengeance. Did actually find this. I never found the white ones on the pegs at all. I, I ended up getting some at, uh, at collector shows, but I never saw one on the pegs. And I um, actually got this one on the pegs, so very excited about that. And uh, we got a Nissan Skyline. This one in blue. actually picked that one up for my good friend Moods, if he would like that one, and it will go into uh, his choices. Um, you've heard me talk about buying cars. I, I do buy cars for guys in other countries sometimes and ship them to them. If that's something you're interested in, get a hold of me. I can probably get the cars to you cheaper than you get them in your own country. <laughs> You'd be surprised what, what shipping would do these days. You can get them pretty quick too. Um, so that's it for the new cars that I picked up. Um, I do have some uh, older cars that we're going to take a look at, and we'll get to that in just a second. Be right back. Okay, and we are back. We're going to take a look at some uh, older models that I got in some lots. And uh, we've been going through a lot of cars. The last uh, many videos, we've been going through some matchboxes and I promised some uh, older Hot Wheels would start showing up. And they have, so we've got them cleaned up as much as they're gonna get cleaned up and some of them I've got identified. Uh, we're gonna start out with these two cars and the big thing is I have no idea what these cars are. So if anybody can post down below what these cars are, I would appreciate it. I just need the name. The name is not on the base of either of them, but I'll show you the base. This one, Malaysia base, 92 is the date on it. I have a bunch of these and it's killing me. I don't know what they are to look them up. And uh, this is the other one. It's a Malaysia base, also a 9090 um, car. Um, I don't know what those cars are. The sedans always kind of throw me. I, they all tend to look about the same to me. So if somebody could tell me what those two cars are, I would appreciate it. Okay, moving on. So first we've got a Porsche 930. Let me get this guy in frame here. There we go. And uh, these cars are not all in perfect condition. They've been played with. They have a few little bumps and bruises, but they work just fine. And they're good enough for my collection. Um, this car came in a five pack. It was the Alien Attack Pack. And I guess that's an alien on the top. I don't really get can't make out alien there. I don't know if the tampo might have got scratched a little bit, but it's from the Alien Attack Pack. It was 1998 that that came out. Um, but a nice car. I like that one. Next up. Oh, by the way, before we, we go any further, one of these cars is a treasure hunt. And I did not know that until I um, jumped in and was kind of filling in the holes with my research. So I'll tell you which one is a treasure hunt when we get done. But one of the cars is a treasure hunt. Okay, next up. We've got the Toyota RSC. I thought this was a Murano. I know some people are just going to be rolling over and keeling over because I get my cars mixed up sometimes. <laughs> I'm much more of a toy guy than I am a car guy. I'm getting better, but sometimes I get them screwed up. This is the first edition though. There are a lot of first editions. Whoever had this this lot and the lot of cars following this one, I, I got about 200 cars in one lot. There was a lot of first editions in there. So um, this one's from 2002. By the way, first editions don't mean that they're worth anything. Most of these are not worth a thing, to tell you the truth. But first editions are kind of neat. That means it's the first time that that particular casting came out. 
This is a 97 Corvette. It came out in 1999. Um, we actually had one of these cars. Believe it or not, I did have a sports car once. And uh, I had that particular model. <laughs> we sold it many years ago. It only had about 15,000 miles on it when we sold it. And we got quite a bit of money for it. So um, this one came in blue also. The, uh, this one was from a car wash playset. And it came with, if I remember right, it came with a different wheel variation. Maybe it was a, a five-spoke wheel and a three-spoke wheel. This is the three-spoke wheel, but it came from a car wash set in 1999. I don't believe this one, this color, was part of the main lines. Next up, we've got a, what is this guy? This guy's an Enzo Ferrari. Enzo Ferrari, this is one of the red ones, and there's lots of red ones, as you'd expect. So figuring out which one you've got is always a trick. This one has the emblem on the side. It also has uh, the Hot Wheels logo on the back. If it was all red and it didn't have those, it actually would be worth more. But um, this one was from 2003. It is the first edition. Again, doesn't really mean anything. It's just kind of neat to know their first editions. The was um, also released the following year, I think. The, for a while there, they were releasing these same cars in the same sets. I think this was one of them that was released the following year also. Dodge Neon. I think this is the Dodge Neon Drag Racer, I think is its full name. And um, this one's first edition, 2004. Not much else to say about it. Neat car car Mopar real nice graphics on it but it is first edition next up remember one of these is a tra is a treasure hunt one of them is I did not know that till I looked into it this one is showstopper I do like this car I it's it's one of my favorite fantasy cars um, this one I thought this one threw me this was um, I'm trying to remember. Oh, I remember what this one was. I thought it was from the Volcano Blast set. And I thought I remembered it from that set. It was not that car. It was that, that car had a showstopper that was black, but not this one. This one came from a strange three-pack. It was like a three-pack of tuner cars. And it had the three-spoke wheels in that three-pack. And uh, I looked through the other lot of cars that I had to see if the other cars from that three-pack were in there. And they were not. If I can find a picture of the three-pack, I'll post it along with this guy. But he was from a three-pack. He wasn't part of the main lines. I don't think. I could be wrong about any of this stuff. I, there's a lot to know about Hot Wheels. Sometimes you get confused. Okay, this guy I'm going to need some help on. He is not in perfect condition. And sometimes I don't show these cars that are all chewed up in the video. You guys like to see the shiny new cars or the good-looking ones. This one is completely throwing me because, look at those wheels. Now, those are Hot Wheel wheels. You can see it's a Hot Wheels. It's a Ferrari 348 TB, made in China. I don't know what this car is from. I don't think it's part of the main lines. I thought it was part of a Ferrari dealership playset, but I looked that up on eBay, and this particular car does not seem to be in that one. So it's from 1999. It's got the, uh, you know, the, the four dot or the DOT wheels on it. And I don't know anything about this car. Just to give you a uh, hint on why it's throwing me, this is also, this one, this guy's coming up later. Should have done these back to back. But this guy is also a Ferrari 599. This guy's in black. But look at the, uh, let me pull out here. They're not, they're not the same. They're the same casting, but the red one is wider. If I put it back to back here, you can see the red one is actually wider. But they're re listed as the same car. And they look to be attempting to be the same car. So I don't know. I don't know if this is like a Corgi model or something weird, but somebody fill me in on this particular car. I don't know what it is. While we were looking at it, we've got the black Ferrari. This is a 348. Oh, I got these screwed up. I'm sorry. 
This is a, no, I got that right. This is a 348. I'm sorry, my, this guy is a 348 in red. This is a 348 in black. The red one, I don't know about. I'm getting my Ferraris mixed up. There's a bunch of them here. So yeah, they're both 348s. It's just the casting is very different on them. So this black one, we know a little bit more about him. He's a 348 coupe, uh, three spoke wheels. He was in the main line. He was easy. This guy came with a wheel variation, different wheel variation. His front wheel doesn't turn there. He's got a twisted axle. I just saw that. I have to fix that. So I do like the, the Ferraris. Not really a Ferrari car guy. They're, they're out of my range, but I do like them in Hot Wheels. So um, next up, we've got a Ferrari 599. This is the GTB. And uh, if we look at the bottom here, there you go. He's a GTB. And this guy had a variation. And I'll give you a second to figure out what it might have been. It was that this one came with orange painted headlights and ones without orange painted headlights. The orange painted headlights, I think, are the more common ones. So uh, I just I want to check something on this again. This is the, you know what, I just answered my own question. I think I just answered my own question. This Ferrari is a 348 TB. This is a 348. And I don't know what the TB stands for. Someone will post that. But I still don't know anything about this car. But they are not the same casting. <laughs> That's confusing. Okay, so uh, next up is 40-something. This guy showed up in the Kroger exclusive cars last year, those scavenger hunt cars that were out. 40-something here is a first edition. He was from 2002. Had a variation. There were five uh, regular five-spoke wheels, or redline, uh, redline five-spoke wheels on this guy. And I'm assuming that this was one of the Walmart... Uh, redline cars at some point but he is from 2002 40 something kind of definitely looked like a Corvette to me so next up remember one of these is a treasure hunt so let's see if we can figure out which one it is this one's a Jaguar XJ 220 and you might be wondering how I knew that well it's written right there on the side a lot of these cars do not have the names on the base, by the way. Yeah, it's frustrating <laughs> trying to figure out these cars. So the XJ220, this guy was a mainline, 2000. Not much else to say about him. I like that car. Next up, we've got a Mercedes CLK. If I can find it here, where is it? Mercedes CLK LM. There you go. And silver. Another first edition. Um, this one was a little bit weird. Doesn't really make it worth any money, but it came on two different cards. We've seen this before when cars come out at the end of the year. Sometimes uh, Mattel will change the cards and they'll put out cars on two different years. And this was one of them. So he doesn't have his card anyway, so we don't know what card he came with. Next up, we've got uh, two different Mustang Cobras. We'll put them both out here. The black one I've seen many times before. It, it must have been a popular model because it shows up a lot. And the black one is the first edition from 98. Um, the interesting thing about the black one is sometimes it comes with a word on the back spoiler here. Uh, I am not remembering what it would say, but sometimes it has a tampo on the back spoiler. And uh, the purple guy, the purple guy was a birthday car, except this guy's not the birthday car. So I'm assuming that this guy is the main line from 2002, but it also came in the birthday, was it a birthday five pack I'm thinking of? Uh, I'm not going to remember. It was either their birthday five pack or a birthday Walmart exclusive series. And that purple one sometimes has has um, birthday written on it. So two Cobras that often I see at shows that have different tampos on them. So interesting. 
Next up, we've got the Chrysler 300 Hemi. We saw this guy last year with bling tires on him. Wasn't crazy about that particular one. This one's a lot more nicer looking. Um, this guy, first edition again from 2006. Eh, that's about all there is to say about it. <laughs> Next up, we've got the Dodge M80. This is a Dodge M80, right? Yeah, Dodge M80. And there he is. It says right there on the side, he's a Dodge M80. I could have seen that. Uh, this one came with a whole bunch of different variations. This is the 10 spoke rims, but it also came with five spokes. It came in, I'm trying to think. There was something about this car I wanted to mention. Oh, it wasn't part of the main lines. It only came in play sets and, um, or five packs. This was part of the truck US five pack, the 10 spoke rims. And this one came with uh, four other trucks. Uh, it also came in the express delivery pack that had five spoke rims. And it also came in the 2005 starter playset with five spoke rims. So it never was in the main line. It, 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 the, the casting was in the main line, but this particular variation was never in the main lines. So next up, we've got a Lincoln Continental, uh, the 1964 Lincoln Continental. This one actually, when you, um, are looking for these I believe this is the one that you there's a 1964 Lincoln Continental and a 64 Lincoln Continental or just Lincoln Continental I don't remember I always get these screwed up when I'm trying to research them um, but first edition from 2000 nice looking car I mean usually this guy's really chewed up because he doesn't have anything to protect up there and that white paint just gets trashed I see a lot of these but this is by far the best condition one I've seen Next up, we have a Anglia. I think that's how they pronounce it, Anglia. Um, a 105E. Now, that's what it says on the bottom. It says it's a 105E, and that's what it's listed under for Hot Wheels is a 105E from 2002. Uh, this does not look like a 105E to me. That back end right there says it's more of a super 123e that weird little kind of cut line there that does not look like a 105e to me so we don't have anglias here in the u.s at least as far as cars driving around on the road so i don't know much about them i just know i've run across them on the internet a lot they're kind of cool little cars so i looked into it a little bit more um, and this one does not look like what it's labeled. So you guys in England or is it Australia or both? I don't remember. You can look into it. By the way, for the folks in the U.S., this car eventually transformed into the Ford Escort. That guy. But we never had Anglias here. So um, Next up is Thomasina. This guy showed up in the last video. We, I, th I swear we've gotten about 10 of these through here in the last couple months. Um last one i showed i said did not have the tampos and that i hadn't seen one with the tampos before this one does have them so either this is listed wrong on um, southwest S texas diecast or that tampo comes off real easy or i've gotten a bunch of them where people have removed the tampo i don't know but that's the first one i've seen that has the tampo on the side so great track car um I promised this one to Andrew because he loves the one I have for the track. It's one of the fastest cars we got, so that one's going to Andrew. Next is a Mercedes-Benz SL500. There you go. And it is a five-spoke wheel variation on this guy. So white interior. Pretty cool. There you go. Next up, we've got... An Avora, a, a, a Aurora. I was going to say an Avora. It's an Aurora. An Oldsmobile Aurora. 2001 main line. I don't know much about the Oldsmobiles. They kind of disappeared before I, I got into cars. But um, this one's interesting in that it has two bases. It has a, this is the China base. It also has a Thailand base. Otherwise, the car is exactly the same. I don't think either is particularly worth anything, but 
Eh, you know, kind of interesting to know. Something to look for when you're out collecting. Last is the Ferrari 333, 333 SP from the 2001 main line. And um, if these same Tampos, I think, were on a red version, the red version is the first edition. This was the second version of this one put out in 2001. So do you know which one is the treasure hunt? So we'll finish this up. There's all the cars. Let's zoom in here so you can see them. There's all the cars we've talked about. Which one is the treasure hunt? Well, it was the uh, Mercedes-Benz SL500. And this was a treasure hunt for, I don't remember which year because I didn't write it down. Anyways, I'm going to guess 2000, I don't know, four, five, six, somewhere in there. Uh, but that was the treasure hunt for one of those years. And it was just thrown in here with all my other cars. So excited to get that one. Um, again, if anybody remembers what these cars are here, those two particular cars, let me know. I'm looking for just the name on those and uh, post down below. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.